Pacific Ocean, guys. This place is sick. Guys, look at this big log. It's actually pretty rad. So this is the Pacific Ocean, and there's a sinking boat right there. All right, guys, I have no clue what this is, but I recorded it because why not? Um, and yeah, look at the bridge, look at the view. The view's amazing. Look at that crane in the background. Crane from Spider-Man 1, if you know, you know. Alright guys, for some reason this bridge reminded me of Spider-Man Far From Home. I'll throw up a photo of the bridge. It doesn't look the same at all, but it just reminded me of Spider-Man No Way Home. Not No Way Home, Far From, far from Home. home. If so you yeah. know, you know. I'll put a picture or insert a clip, but there it is. Guys, look at that bridge. Alright guys, look at this pole. Look at all those muscles that's on there. Those clam muscles, I think they just stick to them. I think that's what it's called. Alright guys, sorry for all the voiceovers, but there's quite a bit of them. Just because I was shy and I didn't want to talk. But we're currently on like a ferry. Uh, like a little boat that gets us from one place to another. It was only like a probably like a four minute ride or something so not bad at all and it was great these ferries are convenient look at all those boats there's a seagull on the roof i don't know if you could see that but this is the place where we did that boat thing that you guys will see soon it's called prince wales it was actually super cool uh one of the girls working she had such a cute accent and it was so nice i should have rizzed her up but i didn't also here's me taking a picture of a whale as y'all saw that whale uh in front of the prince whales so yeah all right guys and here we're currently in like this food market type thing uh farmer's market that's what it's called here's a dead fish but yeah this place is super cool and i found 10 cents guys i see 10 cents Found 10 cents. Alright guys, so here's me recording some of the fish menu, like the meat, which is pretty cool. I love farmers markets. Uh, I just love, like, I hate it, but I love at the same time how it's packed. Like, I just love, like, how it's surrounded by a lot of people. Cookies, I love cookies. Uh, I just love, like, the surroundings, like, the environment it brings is very cool. Like, I like the packedness, but I also don't at the same time. Also, here's what I got from Celine's Fish and Chips. I got a uh, halibut and chips. Uh, one piece halibut and chips. Chips are fries, of course. And honestly, I give this a 9 out of 10. Reason being it's not a 10 is because uh, there's too much batter. Also, here's the bridge once again and downtown. Super cool. I love the high buildings. And this clip, there's lobster, crab, and live shrimp. All those are live which is pretty cool. Normally I only see lobster. I never see crab or shrimp. And the dude was just manhandling the shrimp, which is pretty funny. Uh, but yeah, also more dead fish, AKA a woman's locker room. <laughs> I was kidding about that. Uh, but yeah, more dead fish and lobsters. Larry the Lobster, Mr. Krabs, and some shrimp from SpongeBob. <laughs> I mean, it's cut up already. And then here's a pig, aka my sister, swinging. Not too sure why she was swinging. There's the place. Uh, also, I try to get a different angle for this one. Uh, Island Public Market. I'm not too sure if it's an actual farmer's market or just some type of market, but Granville Public Market. Pretty good, pretty cool, had a great time there.
Why are you filming me? All right, everybody. So now we're we're, we're in like this um, appliance store for kitchen stuff. Like you got KitchenAid stuff. Uh, actually, I'm not, I'm not too sure about KitchenAid, but there's like like a cherry popper. Uh, <laughs> what? Nothing. What's so funny about that? Uh, ice cream scooper, I think. Oh, cookie scooper for cookie dough and stuff. That's sick. Ice cream scooper. Uh, this is for like mashing like bananas and stuff for like banana bread. I mean, I've used that for banana bread. I'm not too sure if it's just for that. The store is pretty sick. Look at that. All right, everybody. So now we're in the washroom uh, and we're going to go on this, uh, what's it called? Boat thing. I completely forgot what it's called already. Check out this washroom though, pretty nice. It's pretty basic, but at least it's clean. This is so rough and thick. Like, this is rough. This is like sandpaper. I got it. All right, guys, so this girl at the front desk, I'll zoom in. Dude, she had such a nice accent. I wanted to give her the riz. Like, I was gonna riz her up. And then here's the boat that we went on, or we're actually on. That yellow boat that I see in front of me is the yellow boat that we are on right now. Pretty cool. All right, guys, it was so sunny. I'm whispering right now because it's like one four it's like almost 2 a.m right now as editing this so yeah it was super sunny but i had a great time and we were going extremely fast a little bit quieter a bit more all right guys so in this clip you see that old rock right there like you notice how it's separated from all the other rocks that rock it's made with something i can't remember but it's the only rock there that's made with it and therefore it does not erode uh which is actually really cool there was like some volcanic explosion like a million years ago but yeah it was super cool and filled with information all right here's a video of the bridge super cool look at i think this is Lionsgate bridge or something but super rad over here there was a big ship I took a video of of course you got on my way but yeah pretty cool also there was a plane i believe taking off or landing can't really remember also sorry for whispering it's like two, past 2 a.m and everyone's sleeping uh so yeah here there's two cruise ships which is wild like look at those cruise ships i actually own one of them so pocket change to me but yeah pretty cool and here's the plane landing i believe it does it go in the water i believe it does let's see yep it goes in the water how sick is that all right now as you guys see right here a super big ship look how big the ship is it's rusty i believe it's still in operation because it's on the ocean of course but it's super cool like, i love all, I, I, I love i love ships I'm starting to love ships now, ever since looking at all the ships. Look at the bridges too. It's insanity. And just look at the scenery. There's one thing I love about this place, and it's the green scenery. Also Alberta too, like, I just love looking at the trees. I'm so amazed by all the trees on the hills and mountains. Super cool. Green scenery is amazing. Looking at the green scenery, it kind of reminds me of blueberry bushes. I don't know why, but like... I could just kind of see little blue dots like in between the trees and it kind of looks like blueberry bushes. Maybe it doesn't, I don't know. Maybe I'm just lying, but it's super cool. I love this. All right, and right there, that rock is Quarry Cove. Uh, it's like a hiking place and you can actually, look, there's people on that rock as I speak right now, which is pretty cool and pretty scary too. I mean, you'd have to have some balls to go on that rock. Uh, just more green of the scenery. Like, look at that. I've never seen this stuff. Super cool to me. I'm fascinated by everything on this trip so far. All right, here's a video of Loot Lake. If you know, you know, it's from Fortnite. 
Um, but yeah, as we get closer to the, the lake or that little island, there's actually a bald eagle right there on that tree, which is super cool because I've never seen a bald eagle before. And I got told we have more bald eagles in Vancouver than all across America. I could be wrong on that, but that's what I got told by the guide, unless I'm just mixing up his words. But super cool. I mean, just look at that. Amazingness all around. All right, I recorded this rock because it's really curved. Like, it's like a C which is pretty cool. Um, I've never seen a rock formation like this, so. All right, also, this was pretty cool. This is a powerhouse, an old abandoned powerhouse. I'm pretty sure it's abandoned. I'd love to explore this. Look how cool it is. Like, it looks like something from Stranger Things. Also, the glass used to be um, stained glass, but they had to brick it up because there were so much explorers there. And it's just got like a, I guess overpopulated, I'm not too sure, but super rad. This is also pretty cool. You can see a little baby uh, seal peeking its head out the water, which is pretty cool. And then here is a red, I, go, I can't remember the name, Hawaiian jellyfish or some type of mandarin jellyfish. I can't remember the name at all, but there's a jellyfish for the first time I saw, which is pretty rad. And then here is the waterfall. All right, here is the next waterfall, but it's barely a waterfall. It's literally so dry that it's not even a waterfall. And here's just more scenery. So beautiful, so nice. I mentioned this a lot of times. I love the green scenery. And then in this clip, we actually saw a uh, eagle flying, which is pretty cool. Unfortunately, it didn't land anywhere, but hey, we saw an eagle flying. Here's a little more clip of uh, the fat seals. You can see one flopping, which is pretty funny. This boat must have had a leak or something because as you see on the side of the actual ship, not boat, uh, there's water pouring out. I'm not too sure why there could be a leak, but who knows? I don't know. There's something interesting about these Olympics though in 2010. We had no snow in Vancouver. So Vancouver often feels left out from the rest of Canada, which everyone sees as an Arctic waste. Uh, whereas here, we were complaining that when we were on the world stage, we couldn't even get enough snow. Uh, Canada is one of the biggest exporters of sulfur in the world. Uh, the reason I always like to guess, uh, see if anyone has a guess, is I've gotten some phenomenal answers in the past. A couple of weeks ago, someone guessed that it was a large pile of pollen, which I had to uh, let them know. But if that were true, no one with an allergy would ever visit even Western Canada again. All right, guys, we're supposed to return this, but can't catch me if I run away with this. All right, in this clip, we're currently back at that farmer's market or some type of market, can't really remember. But I got a peanut butter chocolate cookie and a chocolate chunk cookie. That was a 10 out of 10 bussin certified bussin. We were at this Canada Day store, or not Canada Day store, but Canada store, and look at the prices on these dollars and toonies and quarters. Like, I literally find, I have all of these and I found them in my change in the raw. Like, I didn't even have to pay $10 for them. Overpriced as hell. Also, look at that weird truck. I was like, what the hell? This Foot Locker had three floors, which was insane. First floor was all girls. Second floor was uh, some clothing. And third floor was guy's shoes which was actually pretty cool look at this uh there's vans so there's a stranger things shoe uh most of the shoes though were kind of weird and ugly looking i don't i don't really like to judge but if i'm being honest they were all kind of ugly vans are cool though vans converse nike adidas i like all those but some of the stuff was pretty pricey it's still crazy like look at this selection's pretty good that's, that's the thing from Spider-Man. Spot. That's sick. How much are these Ultra Boost? 260. This is the nicest Foot Locker I've seen ever. Like three floors. Uh, over here it has that sign. Has like a little uh, couch place. There's even a section for hats. Y'all, this is insane.
All right, here we are at this store called Muji, M-U-J-I. Pretty cool store. It's like a Japanese store. Japanese or Chinese or Korean, I'm not too sure. I believe Japanese though. I got this really cool fan. This fan was $50, but it's a USB fan. And it, um, the fan blades switch. Like they so go one way and then they go another way. Also, that's what my sister wrote. That. I'm not too sure why she wrote why. that. This place is sick though. Like, look at this, look at the stained glass. Look at this. I, th I think this place is called Muji. I'm not too sure. I'll have to check after I'm out. It's been a long day. You said this is comfy? I'm going to bed. I'm going to bed. See y'all. See y'all in the morning. <laughs> it's looking at you. Like, seriously, get the fuck off the bed. Guys, this place is sick. Alright guys, so the place was called Muji, or Muji, 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 Mujai. Mm -hmm. One thing about West End Vancouver, where we are right now, you see so many Teslas. There's, a, I, I'm not exaggerating, I've seen at least 300 Teslas. And here's the pasta that we got though, like that looks bussin', look at that. Uh, I got Alfredo with penne sauce. And then we got some ice cream at this 238 flavored ice cream shop. It's called like, I'll probably throw up a photo. But uh, I believe my aunt actually knows the owners and are friends with them. And that's really cool. We got this food on the house. Uh, so yeah, he's Italian, really cool dude. Um, and this place was amazing. You're going to see the ice cream in a few and it's going to be bussin'. Like, it's still crazy how this place has 238 different flavors of ice cream. I'm talking about different. Nothing's the same. Like, they have matcha to bubblegum to coffee. Like, so many flavors that you... Like, you can think of a flavor. They probably have it. They probably most definitely have the flavor. Uh, so, yeah. This place was amazing. And especially since we got it for free. Like, who's complaining? No one... You cannot complain with free. If you complain with free, you were a greedy munch. Um, but yeah, just look at the ice cream. It, it just looks good by looking at it. It looks so good. You don't even want to eat it. You just want to look at it and stare at it. Look at these. Um, these are all made from chalk too. Those things on the wall. That was hand, um, like drawn with actual chalk from someone who actually did that. But there's just insane amount of flavors. Like there's also matcha flavor. Um, but yeah, pretty cool. Guys, this ice cream's amazing. I rate it a 10 out of 10. Bus in pink. I asked her what color it is and she said pink and this is what she sent me. Guys, look at these train tracks. Pretty cool. I just think it's really cool. It's aesthetically pleasing. And a rat trap. Also, I saw a Lamborghini truck and I saw the yellow Ferrari the same day. The video does not do it justice. All right guys, we're currently at 7-Eleven right now in Vancouver and look at this, strawberry melon. Never seen that before. Guys, this is a million times safer than Winnipeg downtown. And it's like, in Winnipeg right now, it'd be like 1 a.m., 2 a.m. I think like 1 a.m., yeah. But this is way safer than Winnipeg. All right guys, if you see that right there, that is the skunk. <laughs> what a weirdo. What a weird little boy or girl or female, whatever. Maybe non-binary, I don't know. But look at that. That's nasty. And we were sitting right there and it was it was right there. So it could it and it came like right there. That's nasty. Skunky boy. So yeah, guys, that's going to wrap it up for uh that video. Hope you enjoyed. Sorry if it was a bit too long, but I tried to minimize a lot of things. Originally, the video was 38 minutes, so I cut it down by quite a bit, but I still want to add quite a bit because, I mean, it's my first time in Vancouver, so I have to record quite a bit, and, like, I'm obviously going to delete some of the videos, so this YouTube video, I'll probably look back at it and be like, I remember that, because I also have a terrible memory, if you, don't, if you guys don't know, I have a terrible memory, so, uh, oh my god, also, my British accent's been slipping up so much during this trip, 
Like, I'd be talking to someone, and then, like, my accent has been slipping up so much. I've been trying so hard to hide it. I do still try to hide my accent so much. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Thick accent, like, you're full Canadian, bro. All right, guys, if you didn't know this, like, every day in elementary, like, someone would say to me, are you from Britain? Are you from England? I'm, I'm not kidding. You could ask some of my friends, like, like they've even, like, you'd ask them, they'd be like, yeah. Uh, but yeah, that's gonna be the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed. Peace!